And I was born in San Pedro, California, 1923, August 26th. I'm already 89 years old. Where did that time fly? Where did it go, you know? I guess I enjoyed my life too well. If I'd have had some real downers, I might have, you know, I might have said, hey, thank goodness I'm this old now, you know? But it's like, it's like I was a young man the whole time through it. My parents were from Yugoslavia, a little island called Vis, V-I-S, both of them. And they come over this country back in the teens, 19 something, you know. My dad, when he came to the United States, was a commercial fisherman. He ended up owning, becoming part owner of several tuna clippers that would go down to Mexico and Panama and bring tuna fish back to Starkist Tuna. He fished for Starkist Tuna, you know. And you all know what that is anyway. So he was a real hard worker, like most fishermen are commercial fisherman and uh, my mom was a beautiful lady you know that knew how to make all kinds of good foods you know so those are the things in life that I really miss my dad was I think he was 102 when he finally passed away but I had him on juices I mean for Kali in the in the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, you know. And my mom, my mom reached the ripe old age of 94, which is pretty doggone good. And they live healthily all the way through it, you know. All the way through and were vibrant. They would walk in San Pedro, the, down, down L.A. Harbor. They would walk down that hill where their house was and go all the way down to the downtown area of a little town of San Pedro. And they did their shopping. And they would carry their, they didn't have a car. And they would carry their produce back. Mm -hmm. And the foods they're gonna eat and prepare for us. They would, they would carry it back up that hill in bags, you know. Uh, some kind of a life. I was always into uh, softball. You know, we had, I got in some heavy competitive pro league almost softball teams. When we were older up to these eight, 17, 18, 19, you know, I played a lot of football in high school. Uh, played for, for three years in the Navy for different Navy teams during the Second World War. Came back, matriculated at the University of Southern California, played football for USC, even played in the Rose Bowl when Michigan beat us 49 to nothing, you know. But... It's something that you live through, you know, but uh, sports was my calling card to life. That kept me young, that kept me, that, that kept me mentally sharp, it, it kept me vibrant, and uh, I don't think I could have managed without playing football or some type of sports, you know. In your high school days, you're, you're quite an athlete, if you're an athlete, you know, because that's, that's your best time, and then, then I went, um, I ran the 100 and the 220, so I was pretty good at that and won most of my races. And you're up in age and you find out you can't do those sprints anymore, you know? So then I found a sport that I really enjoyed. I enjoy golf too, but it wasn't as vigorous. So I became a real good racquetball player. It's indoor. I loved racquetball. And anybody that was my age, I guess I was in my early 50s. I could wallop, you know, no contest, because I was really, really good with the killers and all that. It was very hard on my knees, though. I will say that. You guys that play racquetball out there now, you know how hard that is. But that sustained me. That kept me in good shape. It was terrific. Fast. Not many guys my age were playing it, so I was playing against all young guys and winning most of my games, but I wasn't worried about winning or losing or anything. I was, was concerned more about getting in shape and staying in shape. Time has flown by too fast. I, wanted, I, I, was, I was hoping I could live to be uh, like 125, 150, somewhere in there, you know. But hey, listen, I've had a great ride, you know, with my life. 
You realize you're only on this planet Earth for such a short time, so you want to make the best of it. You want, don't want to become ill. You don't want to have surgery. You don't want to have anything like that. You want to live. The name of the game is live healthily and be vibrant with energy and stamina and endurance and be able to look in the future and say, yeah, I want to get there. You see, that's, that's what life's about. That heart, as long as it's beating, and the mind is focused on being healthy. That's the key to everything, being healthy.